everybody, my name is Chef Rob. Welcome. Well, today we're going to make some mussels and shrimp in a fire roasted broth. And I'm also going to add in some clams. So if you have clams or light clams, add them in as well too. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to turn this burner on. We're going to add in a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to let that get just a little bit hot. We're going to take three cloves of fresh garlic and just kind of slice it. This piece is just like this, so each clove maybe two or three times. When the oil is hot, we're going to add in the garlic. We're going to add in a little bit of red pepper flakes. It depends on how spicy you may like it. And then we're going to also add in a bay leaf. We're going to saute it, let it go for about a minute. Just let the garlic get a little tan. Okay, so let's add the garlic in here. One bay leaf is going to go in, and then it would be about one teaspoon of the red pepper flakes. Again, depending on how hot you like it. Okay, uh, so it just gives it a nice little bite to it. So we just kind of move it around for about one minute. Okay, and then we're going to add in some white wine. White wine, you can use either a white wine or a dry vermouth. Either one would work really well. Okay, the way this garlic is right now and just kind of toasting the red pepper flakes, perfect. We're going to add in about three quarters to one cup of the white wine. And we're just going to bring this to a boil. So let's let this come to a boil while we're waiting for that, which will just take a, a moment or two. We are going to add in fire roasted tomatoes. Okay, one 14 ounce can would be perfect. If you can get this brand, the Muir Glen, they are very good. Uh, has a great taste to it. Okay, so once this is boiling, let's add in our fire roasted tomatoes, and then we're just gonna simmer it. And then the tomatoes, they're just gonna kind of break down a little bit. They're kind of diced up right now, but they will break down. You could say this is boiling right now, which is perfect. Let's add in our can. The Muir Glen fire roasted tomatoes. Let's just give this a good stir. And we're going to let this cook for a couple minutes. Just let it simmer. I'm just going to go over about the mussels and the clams and the shrimp, of course. So the mussels, make sure you wash these really good. Get all those sand off. You always want to make sure, sometimes they have these little beards on them just like this. Sometimes they'll be left on it from either the supermarket or the fish store. So you do want to pull those out, okay? With the mussels, anywhere from 12 to 18 mussels would probably be perfect for this amount of broth. And then we're going to use little neck clams. The smaller the clam, the more tender it's going to be. So I'm going to show you these clams. It's about one and a half pounds total. And this is a little neck clam. Actually one and a half to actually two and a half pounds. And again, if you want to add more of these in there, it is fine. Again, uh, make sure there's no sand on them. The shrimp. Anywhere from 10 large shrimp to, uh, if you're using medium shrimp, 20, that would be fine. And then the sauce is just going to give a really nice broth to it. Make sure you have some nice crusty bread to go along with this, and it's going to taste delicious. So we're just going to let this simmer, and then we'll add in our seafood. Okay, so let's, this has been cooking and just breaking down for about five minutes. Let's add the clams in. Pour them in there, just don't splash yourself. And let's add in the mussels as well. And we're gonna let these steam for about five, six minutes until they all open up. If you get any that don't open up, you wanna discard them. Okay, and then if you're using the large shrimp, anywhere from 10 to 20 at the most, I would say. And it's gonna make a really nice broth. So we're going to put that in. You can give it a stir every once in a while. So let's put the lid on here. Let it cook for about five, six minutes. Okay, so while the seafood is simmering, let's just tear up some really nice fresh basil. And we're going to add it to the simmering seafood and tomato broth. And it will just give it a really good flavor. So about a half a cup. 
and let's take a peek at the seafood. You can see the shrimp uh, starting to cook, the mussels opening up. We're just going to tear this and put this right on top. And always kind of stir it a little bit so you get to the bottom of the pot so all the seafood gets cooked evenly. Okay, let's check on this. It's been about five minutes. You can see our clams are opened up, our mussels. Okay, just like that. You want to make sure that the shrimp is cooked all the way through. And I can tell just by kind of feeling that. You want it to have a nice coloring. It shouldn't be uh, like a rubbery texture. But these all look good. They're all open. That is perfect. So let's take this, put it in the serving bowl. And we're going to pour some broth in there. So to make it easy, you could kind of just start taking some of the mussels out. Just like this. Be careful you don't burn your hands. Um, you can use a little spoon or a ladle, whatever works best for you. A pair of tongs, that would also be fine. And of course make the plate look really presentable. Okay. Sometimes I like to just put the shrimp right in the center and the clams right up against the black shell. This is a delicious dish. If you live by the water and you can get mussels and clams, you can get them for free. And I'm just going to use tongs right now so I can get some of these clams. Sometimes a clam or two will fall out of the shell, but it's in the broth, so don't give it up. I'm just going to set up one serving platter so you can see exactly how you should sh serve this. And okay, it's just about time to get some shrimp. I'm going to put the shrimp right all around the platter. Shrimp will shrink a little bit. Uh, so any size would do, but I am tip I'm using more of a larger shrimp. And when they come out, they kind of look like a medium shrimp a bit. Okay, now I'm going to just pour some of the broth right on top of this. And with the white wine, the garlic, and the fire roasted tomatoes, it's going to be really, really delicious. If you like a stronger tomato broth, okay, this has, you can see the white wine, the tomatoes in this. A lot of big chunks probably at the bottom, but you could always add another can of the fire roasted tomatoes. And I just think serving this with a nice crusty bread is perfect. So let's take some crusty bread and just put this around the bowl because you're going to want to dip it right in. And take some fresh basil and just garnish this plate so it looks just beautiful. And that has summer all over it. So this is our mussels and shrimp with clams in a fire roasted tomato broth. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you'll make this and stay well. Thank you for watching.